Hi Aries, welcome to your daily reading. I hope you're well. So the Sun's in Aquarius and Venus moved into Aquarius as well. We also have Jupiter and Saturn in Aquarius. So we have this stellium lineup coming into the 12th house or the 11th house of community, network, socializing, and humanitarian causes. So we have a lot of really good energy lining up here in the collective, in the community, or globally. Uh, a lot of support from the planets. It's very polarized. As you can see, everything is moving into this Aquarius energy. And the sun is connecting in with Mars at a square. So there's a tension between doing things for the greater good versus um, ambitious things that have to do with money. So it's more about equality because the moon is in Libra connecting in with this energy. Emotions are connected to things that are fair, just, and balanced. Now we have Venus moving into Aquarius, bringing in love and compassion. Um, the energies of the moon in Libra, balance, fairness, equality, is in opposition to the wounded self. So needing to overcome any insecurities, fears, or wounds, and able to partner with other people. And this is connecting in at a positive alignment to Sagittarius energy, which is about higher learning, belief systems, philosophies, sharing ideas on a large scale. It could also be about um, new cultures. Sagittarius is about long distance travel and um, different cultures and new information from different cultures. So the North Node is connecting in with the Sun. There's challenging karmic communication with the people close to you that is supported by the fiery sun in Aquarius. So there could be a lot of people who are thinking one way, and then we have some differences of opinion that are also here, which are also good. So let's see, Mercury is retrograde in Aquarius. So things could be coming back around again to be discussed again. There could be people from your social life that are coming back to discuss things with you or reconnect with you. Mercury retrograde can also be challenging situations such as IT issues or travel issues, delays, um, miscommunication, anything that sort of causes a disruption as Mercury's energy is sort of farther away from us. Okay. So, let's go ahead and see what's coming in for Aries. First house of the Zodiac. What have we got here for Aries? Okay, Six of Swords on the bottom. Commun communication gets easier. There's smooth sailing. Things get easier. You're coming out of conflict. What do we have here for Aries? Queen of Air. Putting up a blockage. Putting up a sword. It's the energy of Lady Justice. It's energy of Libra. So we have the lover's energy in the cross, a blessing, um, two people coming together in a union, choices in love, options in love, but then we have the energy of making a head over heart decision, a wise choice, a smart choice. Energies for Aries. Okay, page of wands, fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius is here. The moon is now in the past. Things that are hidden from view, uncertainty, can be deception, but it's in the past. The lovers, again. So this deck has two lovers cards. Doesn't make it any less important because... There's still 80 cards or so. 
So we have the lovers. We have a king of pentacles. Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. What do we have for Aries energy? Three of wands. Very focused on yourself. Very focused on your own career. Sun and Aries. This is where you made a decision. And now you're just waiting for the ship to arrive. Two of Pentacles is the environment. Somebody's trying to find balance in their life. It could be juggling or multitasking, juggling people. It could be a very emotional time for someone. You're hoping for the chariot. You're hoping to overcome anything that's in your way right now by just charging ahead. You're hoping to have a victory. And what's the outcome here for Aries? For this daily? Five of Cups. Okay. Um, feeling like something's not going the way you had hoped. With the King of Cups. Okay. So the King of Cups is somebody who makes an offer to you. They're very emotional. Water sign energy. And what is the Two of Pentacles? Two of Pentacles is there's someone here that's very narcissistic and the star card is somebody trying to move forward but they also are very narcissistic and kind of a negative energy here. You're avoiding this altogether. There's two energies of unions or love. Why do we have a Five of Cups? Four of Cups, not wanting or not accepting an offer of love. Ten of Swords is on the bottom. A hard time or a difficult time. What is the Page of Wands here influencing? Young, creative, impulsive. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. What do we have here for Page of Wands? Okay, so we have a Nine of Cups, a wish coming true, a wish is fulfilled. What is the lover's crowning Aries here? It could be that you're not accepting an apology from someone, a Four of Swords. You're not expect, accept, accepting Queen of Air is the main energy. You're very content on your own. You're doing your own thing. There's somebody here who's coming in. They are trying to heal themselves by apologizing to you. And you're, I feel like you're not taking their apology or love offer. What is the outcome energy here for Aries? So we have a two of cups and a four of wands. So an offer of love and the stable happy home or a marriage or twin flame. It could be that you're kind of sad and somebody comes towards you to try and make you feel better. But um, who is this king of pentacles? Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. The Knight of Cups, somebody with an offer of love or a nice message or invitation. So what is the Five of Swords and the Star? The Justice card, wanting something to be fair, just and balanced. You could be dealing with someone around you who is very arrogant and you're trying to let them go. Um, what is the Three of Wands here? For Aries, Three of Wands. You're, there's a heavy burden on your shoulders, but you're focusing more on yourself. Two of Cups and Four of Wands is the outcome with the Five of Cups and King of Cups. So you felt disappointed about something and somebody comes in to 
make you an offer, Eight of Wands. Happens very quickly. What is this Knight of Cups? Six of Swords. Okay. Could be somebody returning to you. Six of Swords could be someone coming back around. Why do we have the Nine of Cups for the Page of Wands? The Page of Cups. Okay. So there's a person that reaches out to you with a message of love. Happy news. An emotional message. Why are we showing the lovers twice in this reading? Wow. So we get the Death card. It could be a Scorpio. Could be that you went through a breakup. So to me, Mercury retrograde is cards falling on the floor. <laughs> so the death card of the four of swords. So Something here is about somebody coming back around to reconnect with you. Probably Mercury retrograde energy. Um, what is Aries energy in all this? You could be ignoring the person. Focus more on yourself. The wheel of good fortune and good luck. Things are changing for the better for you. And then we have nine of pentacles and strength. So do it, being very independent. Um, could be a Leo, but I think it's you're very independent and strong, even though you might be cut, like keep doing everything on your own. There's a person here who's coming in. They want to help you. They want to be there for you. So what is the lovers about? It's a union, a blessing, two people coming together. Um, they could be very different, but they're coming together. Seven of Wands, Mars energy, fighting, standing up for yourself, being courageous. Leo energy. What is the Seven of Wands here? Seven of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. Somebody's trying to decide what to do next. Um, they're on the defense. They're trying to think about what they need to do to make their life better. Seven of Pentacles is about how to invest your time, your energy, your money. There is a change here. Okay, so it could also be that you're blocking someone. We had the energy of blocking with the queen of air. You're making a head over heart decision, a very logical decision. Okay, so what do we have here coming in? Let's see. What are the messages here for Aries? What do they need to see or acknowledge? Messages for Aries. Law of Attraction. So, all of your thoughts going out into the universe can bring you love, peace, or harmony. So you will be attuning to the frequencies by the thoughts that you're thinking. So then I got the energy of listen. Quiet your mind and listen to your inner guidance. Notice the signs. The signs you've been, you've been receiving are heaven sent. Feathers, coins, and other signs. I have have had a lot of feathers. Okay. And then child. All children, including your inner child, needs love, affection, and attention. Okay, so let's get a magical spell card. So I have here the energy of knowledge, gaining more knowledge. 
we have scorp or sagittarian energy today happening imagination and then i have the card of victory coming out again so you're winning in some way through your imagination using your knowledge Okay, so I've got here, have patience, love is patient and kind always. And then I got new love, embrace an opportunity for love in your work prospects or for spiritual growth. Okay, Aries, this is your daily reading. Thank you so much for watching my channel and take care.